Odd pricing is a pricing method aimed to maximize profit by making micro adjustments in pricing structure. It relies on the assumption that consumers are calculation averse and will therefore only read the first digits of a price when making their purchasing decision. According to this method, the relevant information of any given price does not usually relate to the last digits, but in fact rather only the first. In other words, to the order of magnitude of the number. For example, the price of $17.99 looks far more like $17 than $18. Now, the odd pricing strategy relies on the fact that consumers highly value their time when evaluating prices. There is an increased time cost associated with examining each additional digit within any given number, which means that when examining a price, the first digits carry far more weight than the last ones. We can define a relevance rate for each digit and hence define the two concepts of perceived price and true price. Consider the price of $1,743.99. The vast majority of consumers will only pay attention to the first two or three digits and note that the price is either $1,740 or $1,700, depending on their relevance threshold. Companies know this and they cash in on this by changing all the irrelevant digits to nines. Adding these irrelevant numbers to the perceived price will still retain the same perceived price and will therefore not have any impact on the demand or the sales of that particular item. The additional unperceived digits in the price will be entirely converted into profit. Another essential factor to consider is price ranges. Today, most e-commerce websites give the option to filter goods by price ranges, such as from $50 to $99. Setting a price at $99.99 instead of $100 implies falling into this $50 to $99 price range, which can potentially have a positive impact on demand. A study by Schindler and Kimberian was carried out on the effects of odd pricing. They examined price settings on a woman fashion e-commerce, where they compared the effect on sales of 0.88, 0.99, and 0.00 prices. The sales of 0.99 price items turned out to be 8% higher compared to 0.00 prices. This, however, was not the case for 0.88 prices. But according to the odd pricing theory, the perception associated with 0.99 and 0.88 prices should not be any different and should therefore lead to the same customer demand. But empirical evidence, however, demonstrated that a better purchasing signal is achieved with 0.99 prices. When it comes to odd pricing, it seems that what matters is really the consumer to perceive the product to be well priced. And this is what consequently leads to increase in their willingness to buy. Products whose prices ends in 0.99 are often perceived as promotional or cheap items. Simultaneously, modifying the last digits in a price may change the perception of a product quality. If we assume that estimated product quality has an impact on the demand, then a perceived decrease in quantity associated with these 0.99 promotional items result in lower demand and therefore, in fact, lower profits. So a coffee maker price under 20 bucks is actually likely not expensive enough to be considered to be of decent quantity. To summarize all this, the old pricing method focuses on capturing the demand for a product by creating micro adjustments on the price in a way that alters the psychological perception of the consumer to their benefit, creating a trap that we all fall into in our daily lives.